Nutanix is here in Vienna for the first Dot Next Europe. So we packed our bags and headed to 1516 Brewing Company to check out the local beer culture. Our guests today are Oliver Lynch, systems engineer, and James Brown, manager at 1516. I'm Laura Giordana, and today I'm guest hosting this special episode. This is Beers with Engineers. So, Oliver, welcome to Beers with Engineers. Um, hi, Laura. Hi. It's nice to see you. Unfortunately, Tony couldn't make it. Apparently, he got held up in customs at the airport or something, or he didn't realize he needed his passport. So, I'm filling in for him today. So, it uh, looks like we have a lovely selection of beers here. So, cheers. Cheers. Welcome. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, what are you excited about in uh, in technology? You know, other than Nutanix. I like things that make my life easier. Yeah. yeah definitely. Just uh, if you th think about GPS, this is one of my examples always. So, a couple of years ago, if you want to drive to a city or to a country where you have no idea where to go to, mm -hmm. you had these street maps, these unhandy street maps in the car. Then they so invented. They fold, uh, yes. Wanted to fold and, out. And yeah. You can't see anything <laughs> anymore. Um, then they had the GPS stuff and it makes it really easy. And, but, and today, if you look at uh, everyone has a GPS device in his pocket. Yeah. So all this i stuff, yeah. the iPhones and, and the Androids. So it makes life very easy. And yeah. I, I like this kind of stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know, I'm not from, I've never been to Vienna actually. And just having to walk here, I you know, had to use my Google Maps and it was, it was so easy. easy. So yeah. It's a lot better than having those, you know, looking like a tourist with my big map <laughs> out. So. Cheers. Oh. What, do you, what are we tasting here? What do you... What do you uh... The beers? Yeah. Um, care to venture a guess to what any of these are? From, from, from sweet and light to dark yeah. and strong. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do for fun in Vienna? Uh, my favorite uh, sport is skydiving. Oh, wow. So, I'm into it really and I like it. You can do that nearby here? Yes, it's yeah. about 20 minutes from my home place. Oh, wow, okay. There is a small airport and I'm in the club there with a plane. Awesome, awesome. It's really cool. How often do you do that? It seems like a daredevil type sport and you just like to get out there all the time and get, get your adrenaline going. Yeah, it was, it was funny. To my 40th birthday I got a present. It was a tandem jump. Oh, wow. And, and actually, after the opening, after the free fall, the tandem instructor asked me, so, and will you do it again? And I said, no, not with you. <laughs> From now on, I will have my own parachute. <laughs> and I started the, wow, my awesome. parachute career. That's your new hobby. Cool, cool. Yeah. So how long have you been doing that then? Uh, two years right two now. Years. I had 150 jumps. Wow, wow. So like every other weekend, you're... you're yes, if the weather is fine and blue skies are here, wow. definitely. That's cool. you about Nutanix in particular like what's your kind of favorite favorite part about it yeah one of the uh, my favorite parts of Nutanix is the simplicity mm -hmm. so if you look back in the 3d architecture with the traditional sounds you always have to look uh, how to set it up how to maintain it uh, if you want to grow do you need a forklift upgrade or something like that yeah. and if you look to at, at Nutanix First, uh, the updates are automatically. You don't have to take care about uh, hardware compatibility lists, software compatibility matrices, and all this stuff. You just switch, update, and Keep you're it done. Simple. Keep it simple. So no more uh, night shifts or <clears throat> over the weekends. You don't have to do upgrades. More time for skydiving. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> so I need the time at the weekend. Yes. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, thanks, Oliver, for uh, for being on the show and joining me and trying some great beers. So. Thanks, Laura, for bringing me here. Yeah, no problem. See you at Dot Next. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. So I'm here with James Brown, the manager of 1516 Brewing Company. So James, can you tell me a little bit about the like the origins of the name 1516? What, what does that actually mean? Well, the origins of the name comes from Das Reinheitsgebot, which is 500 years old this year. Oh wow, okay. Which said that only beer can only be made from malt tops and water. In the first edition of the law, yeast was disallowed because oh, they didn't wow. know what it was. Of course, we don't need to follow that anymore. Or, or well, we're not from Bavaria, so mm -hmm. we we can use yeast. We can put different things in our in our beers. We're all very like happy that we honey, that, right? <laughs> bourbon, chocolate, 
Give it a little what variety. Craft, craft beer is all about. Yeah. So your accent is it doesn't it's not German or it no. doesn't sound like you're from Austria. No, the all the Irish. All the bartenders here have always been Irish, okay. pretty much. Irish owned. No, it's Austrian owned, oh, but uh, it's just the owner understands that if you want to get beer out quickly, <laughs> the Irish understand. <laughs> understand the speed and importance of uh, fast service when it comes to beer. What's the most popular beer here? Or kind of the local most sold favorite? beer would be lager, okay. because it's originated in Vienna with the, mm -hmm. in Schreckert. Um, however, it's mostly locals. They say beer, they expect lager. Yeah. They, if you give them anything that's not blonde, they'd be looking at you funny. <laughs> My personal favorite is the Slipper. Mm -hmm. That's the one you're drinking there? Yeah. Cool. Uh, it's a nice easy beer to drink during work because it's only 5.2%. Yeah. But it's it well, well balanced um, and tasty. You guys brew it. How, how many like uh, tanks do you have? So there's uh, 13 secondary fermentation tanks. Okay. Three first. Straight downstairs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, six uh, dispension tanks. So like we're pouring straight from 1,000 liter tanks instead of pouring from kegs and having oh, to nice. change. Wow. So like especially when it comes to the lager, you know you couldn't be changing kegs like that. Right. Right. You'd have to yeah. have some. <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have to have some guy down there, there all the night. Time, all, full time. Yeah. So. 24/7 job. Yep. Well, uh, thanks, James, for uh, being on the show. And how do you uh, cheers in German or here in Vienna? Prost. Prost. Well, so. Prost. Prost.